Hello and welcome to a special edition of Talkin' Tunes. I am your host, Frank Walsh. Thanks for tuning in today. As you can see, I am sitting here with two ladies who are very familiar to you. <laughs> Uh, this lady on my right, Miss Sharon Wendy Robertson, she is the record holder for appearances on our show. And she is here for a very special reason today because we are going to be telling you about a very special event that not only she, but my other guest over there, Ro Evans, who you may have remembered in the past when she was on with the Demented Poet Society, and she was on as a singular guest one time sharing the stage. So it gives me great pleasure to reintroduce these ladies to you once again, Sharon and Ro. <laughs> Hi, Hi Frank. ladies. Hi. Hi, Frank. Hi, Frank. Welcome aboard again. Well, thank you. Thank you. We're happy to be here. Well, Honor. I understand too <laughs> that uh, you know you two guys are hooking up for a very special event that is going to be run by you, Sharon. Right. So why don't you take a couple of minutes and let the folks at home know why we're here today and what this event is. We are here today to share about a new um, nonprofit um, that I founded in January, and it's called Uniting People for Peace, or UP. Um, and we're planning an event um, in Plymouth on August 5th called UP Day. And it's a, cool. it'll be a musical event with vendors and artisans there. And Ro, my friend Ro here, has, decided, has, has, has offered to, to join us that day to perform. So I have the lineup already um, in place for that, and um, it's to, and the message um, and the the mission of uniting people for peace is to promote peace and patience and compassion and all the good qualities that the world needs so much more of. Amen to that. Yes. <laughs> but how did this come about? I mean, what did you uh, did you wake up one morning and said, "Hey, I want to have an event"? Or, you know, <laughs> was there any spark? Was there any inspiration? that uh, made you decide that you want to do this and then pushed you forward to actually do it? Yes, Frank. There were, I mean, there were a lot of things. I had thought about this for a long time. Um, I went through um, some, uh, some health things last year. I mm -hmm. had some brain aneurysm surgeries. Mm -hmm. um, and as soon as I got through all of that last year, I, I just was really grateful mm -hmm. um, and looking forward to the future. But I also am very concerned about so many things that are happening around us. Mm -hmm. And I think the whole political environment kind of just was something, at that point I said to myself, I really would like to throw my hat in the ring and go in there and try to promote this more, uh, a more peaceful, compassionate, and patient world. So, so thus I formed Uniting yeah. People for Peace. Well, I know that the world, <laughs> I think united is probably the key word because yes. I think that not only this country, but a lot of facets of this world have been divided. That Exactly. And, you know, an event it, like this, you right. know, which has been well received. It I mean, sure we've, has. We've, <laughs> we've done some sharing about this and yep. we promoted it a little bit online, but yep. hopefully more people will see it as well. Well, it is. I mean, it does. There is a Facebook page and it has over 25,000 mm -hmm. followers already on that page. Mm -hmm. um, so people are yearning for something. Cool. Yep. And Ro, yeah. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. you, when, when Sharon was sharing this idea with me and I, you know, fully supported her and mm -hmm. told her that I would do what I can to help, one of the first people I thought of mm -hmm. was you because I don't Thank think you. there's anybody who I know who is more peace-loving and gentle and calm and caring as you. And I thought that you would be a, a perfect fit for this. And I'm so glad that it's worked mm -hmm. out. So why don't you, you catch us up a little bit mm -hmm. with what's been going on with you? Because there have been some changes since you've been on before. Well, I used to be Demented Poet Society. Yep. And I have branched out. Um, I have some new musical um, people in my life. Mm -hmm. And I'm now called Rock and Row. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is my new name, mm -hmm. uh, Rock and Row Evans. Um, I will be changing things on, on uh, YouTube. I will be changing things. We're going into the studio. Nice. Uh, Sharon, I'm so honored that you have asked me. And Frank, I'm so glad that you have uh, referred me to Sharon. My and pleasure. I, I can't be natural any more honored right to there, natural be work match. Yes, and I can't be honored anymore to be working with uh, United People United for People Peace okay. yeah. um, on August 5th. And I also will be showcasing some original songs Absolutely. as well as yep. she has inspired me to get into the studio and actually get some business cards for this. Uh, and yep. uh, so I, I can't be any more, mm -hmm. uh, you know, honored to be That's doing fine. this. I'm um, glad. And I'm uh, glad. hopefully we'll get some new stuff out there. So um, 
that's about it, really. <laughs> well, songwriters are such a such a terrific resource um, for any community, mm -hmm. and so that's why I wanted the event to be songwriters. I wanted original music at this ev this event in Plymouth because songwriters will express uh, a lot of what the society is feeling. Right, you right. know, so that's why, why I wanted that, and. and well, well, that's why. I, so I we think have it's a, a, a very worthy cause, and I know that you have mm -hmm. are, are certainly our full support. Yep. And Eileen Spiller. And, and, you know, and also, yep. uh, you know, mm -hmm. just to, to clarify, this is a free event. Oh, yes, and kid-friendly, please. Kid-friendly. Yes. It's, it's going two to be... To eight, two to eight on yep. Saturday, August 5th. Yeah, right on the waterfront, yeah. down right where uh, the little band stand, that the That's nice right. park down there where they Beautiful. regularly have concerts down there yes, during the do. summer if you haven't been there. Right. And uh, there's going to be many, many people there, kid-friendly, free mm -hmm. event, mm -hmm. great music. Exactly. And basically just and a lot of enthusiasm. A lot of fun. A lot of That's fun. right, a lot of it. And just a positive vibe, which is what we need. We just really need that. You know, there's no agenda behind this other than to promote this message right. of peace and and compassion for mm -hmm. and to treat people the way you would like to be treated. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Right, because we're all the same. That's right. It comes down to we are all, all, all the, the same. same. At the, that's right. Are you at liberty to mention some of the other performers that might be there? I am. I know one of our mutual friends yes. and all of our mm -hmm. friends who've been on the show here as a guest, uh, mm -hmm. Eileen Springer. Yes. Yep, Eileen Springer. Eileen Springer, Joe Merrick. Joe Merrick, wow. Yep, Chuck Williams. Nice. Um, um, Matt Borello. Mm-hmm. Um, Diane <laughs> Batist Batistello, I think that's okay. her name. Okay, it's on my website and it's on the Facebook page, and also Mike Loriano. So cool. those are that's the lineup for that day, and I may I may sing something as well. I might, but I'm not there as a, so much as a performer, mm -hmm. as much as I am there to showcase. Mm -hmm. These songwriters who who are uh, have are uh, joining us that yeah, day. and Eileen and I are going to try to Wonderful. get together and do Great. Great. one song yeah. together. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is a forum too, where you know people can bring their chairs and picnic baskets Absolutely. and bring and their just frisbees enjoy the afternoon. and That's coolers right. and. And just have uh, it's a great location, right? With the oh, water right there. Oh, it's a fabulous location. <laughs> I, that's why I chose Plymouth because it. I wanted it near the water, um, and they had that day open. But the water has such nice healing qualities to mm -hmm. it. So with this message and what I'm trying to do, it just it promotes peace just in itself. Mm -hmm. The ocean does. Yes. Yes. As long as it's not a stormy day, then mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I think too that you know this is uh, this is certainly non-political. No, none. This is no agenda. Absolutely non-political. Uh, no agenda. Leave People all of that at home. There to We're all there to just enjoy the day. No politics. It's not cultural. It's not political. It's not religious. It's not racial. It's not anything. It's peace. human. Yeah, that's right. Humanity, to unite humanity. Yes. Well, I think it's an absolutely <laughs> fabulous cause. Thank you. Thank now, you know, as you know, uh, time can fly by a little bit quickly, and it would be remiss of me not to ask you folks to uh, get up there and give a little kind of a preview of okay. what you might be singing or playing or just a little tease of what the folks can be into. So, Sharon, you're going to get up in front of your keyboard there. I, and what are you going to What are you going to do for us? I'm going to so <laughs> do a song that I wrote. It's called "It's Love." Uh huh. It's on YouTube under Sharon Wendy Robertson. Uh huh. Um, it's love. So I'm going to sing that, and maybe if we have time, another one. And, and Ro is going to sing Ro's for us as well. Ro's definitely going to get up and sing. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have two voices um. of the angels here. <laughs> so, sit back, relax, and first, you are going to listen to Sharon Wendy Robertson. Mm -hmm. The world is ever changing And people come and go They bring with them a chance to Learn and feel and grow Each moment has a message Each message is a part Of lessons on our journey Row, and this is an original called Wishing Well. Hope you like it. Wish for 
my true love to come I threw a quarter in and my What a Your great song! song. Was incredible, Sharon. See, yeah, look at us. We just we're so good. You know, I was so honored to hear it. I was honored to hear yours because I didn't go on uh, YouTube because wow. I just oh, didn't. I forgot. That's okay, <laughs> but now you did get to hear it live. So there I you know go, that was even better. Well, as you can see, <laughs> folks, that's just a little tiny taste of what you're going to be hearing <laughs> at the event that's going to be happening in August. So, just to repeat, uh, why don't you tell when okay. that is and and uh, name it's, it? The name of the organization is, and it's a nonprofit 501c3 charity. If you want to make donations, you can do that on the website um, and help to promote peace. the The event um, is August 5th in Plymouth from two to eight o'clock. It's a musical type festival. Kind of a thing. It's free and it's kid friendly, and we want everyone to go to just have a nice day, lawn chair, right, Frank? There you go. There we go. <laughs> now, Ro, that was a beautiful song that you just sang, and that would, you, you wrote that. That was an original. It was an original, yes. What inspired you to write that? Was there any event or any situation that came to you to said, um, "This is what I'm going to write." My old uh, drummer and I, we, I was sitting down, and I don't know. Uh, it just came to me, uh -huh. and then he started playing his Ashiko. Uh -huh. And then he went on the drums. Uh, it, uh, it, we wrote a lot of stuff together. Yes. And, yeah. And he's been on here with you. That's and, Rick. Yeah, that's Rick. Yeah. Rick Carden. I sure. will give him pro. I will give him kudos for yeah. helping me out on that one. Yeah. Kudos, Rick. Um, and uh, it, it just came to me within ten minutes. I wrote that song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. 
And no, uh, no and, it has that little yeah. bit of a you know a little bit of a spiritual overtone with the holy water mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and you know is there how would you capsulize what that song means? Um, the holy water was the well, the well uh -huh. water, yep. and the quarter s symbolizes the the wish. Yep. And first, it's about a true love and how and how I wished upon a true love, and then peace, how mm -hmm. we wish upon peace, and then the third verse is how the true love and I you know, and the sins of, of the, you know, how we sinned and how peace becomes a part of it. And then back to the, the holy water mm -hmm. and the quarter. Mm -hmm. I wanted to hear you say it rather than me kind of guess at it. I was kind of on the same path, but it always amazes me how musicians and writers uh -huh. and, you know, I dabble around with a little bit of writing myself and uh, more for my own enjoyment, but it always amazes me when someone can pick up a, you know, pick up a pen or sit at the keyboard and take that idea, take that thought, and not only write it, but put the mm -hmm. express it. put the expression yeah. behind it, and put the music behind it, mm -hmm. and you know, put that all together, and have that emotions come through. That that fascinates me, mm -hmm. how that comes, because it's very clear, and I've told this to you before, Ro, that it's very evident that your passion and your love comes through in every song that you sing. That it's very difficult not to feel anything when listening to you sing and Thank listening you. to your music. Thank you. I felt something from Sharon's music too. Of course. Oh, She's beautiful. an old pro at this. I've already told her this stuff, <laughs> you know. I've already told her this stuff, you know. She's she's got tons of stuff, but I mean, you've written many songs. You've got CDs. Throw a little plug three. out there well, too, that's all you know. Right. I'm just on YouTube. I mean, YouTube and my website, but yeah. but I'm really here to promote this organization rather than any particular music, um, but we're singing because it is a musical yes. event. So we want to make sure that you know what you're going to have, what you're going to see when you go there that day. These kind, this type of music. Mm -hmm. um, but uniting people for peace. Look that up on Facebook. Look that up. Look up the website. Um, there's so much going on with that. It really is generating quite a buzz. Yes, mm -hmm. UPP, yes. Uniting People for up. Peace. There you up go. Peace. Up. That's right. <laughs> now, Ro, I know just in a minute or so, I know that you have a couple of projects that you're, you know, you're looking forward to doing. We talked a little bit off air that you've got some projects and you've got some kind of innovative things that you want to do with your music as far as taking it in different directions. And can you chat for that about a second? Maybe that Janis Joplin or oh, yeah. some we're, of those other things. I, I have met a, a, a man who is incredible. He has an incredible voice and uh, I'm working in the studio and I'm trying to venture out in different things and mm -hmm. we're trying to get a Janis Joplin, uh, Jefferson Airplane, Jim Morrison, mm -hmm. Joe Cocker thing going on and and he's phenomenal in whatever he sings and he just happened to say hey you know maybe I'll go in on it with you but I don't want to venture out from rock and roll projects. Right. So we're going to wait until the recording's done. And she has inspired me to get back in the recording yes, studio. Well, so, how, yeah. how, <coughs> how much of a compliment is that? It's a great, I just am very excited that you're going to, you know, do that. And She's have like, get to some bring. stuff together yeah, you have for to the bring it with you. August 5th. Yeah. It. And I get a business yeah, card going into good. the making. Yeah. And it's uh, my friend, I'm giving her credit to do it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I could have do it, but I want to, I want to give her a little credit on it. Good. So. She's working well, on Well, with all the jams that we have yes. around here and all the different places, I think it might be really cool if you two guys hit a jam together some night Definitely. and maybe get up there and start doing a little duets and start Definitely. playing Definitely. off of each other and just pull some songs out well, of the hat. Yeah. That'd be fun. And have that some fun, fun, you know? Fun. Almost said hilarious, but I meant to say <laughs> <laughs> that'd be awesome. You should do that. You both have the saying? pipes for it. We have the pipes for it. Yeah, uh, Roxanne, uh, Sharon's trying to direct the show here. So, um, uh, what are we going to do next year? We're going <laughs> to. Dairy calls me. Yes, let's do a song. Okay. Together. What, what would you like to do? Let's do "Let It Be" by the Beatles. Let it be yeah. by the Beatles. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, before we do that, because we're going to be signing off with that. Yes, that's all. But folks, as I always say, you know, I want to encourage you to get out and support local mm -hmm. musicians. Mm -hmm. These folks go out and play. They play at jams. They go out and sometimes they play with their little cups or sometimes they might get a little fee. But that is not why they're playing. They are playing for your enjoyment. So go out to the clubs, go out to the jams, go to Della Erskine's jam, go to Players, go to the Riv, go to Tavern 33, go to Pete's, go to the next page, and rattle off some other places where you go. You bounce around. Where do you uh, go? Smoky Bones in Warwick, Rhode Island. Um, just... Uh, uh, the Burger Mr. Bar. Mr. Dooley's, the Burger Bar uh, can't, is, is closing. But uh, Mr. Dooley's on Thursday night. We got uh, the alumni on Friday night in Franklin. 
There's so many. You just look up uh, .org, um, open mic, and there you go. Yeah, there There's are many, many players. Up, you know, and, and we do it so we can make people smile and have a good time. Mm -hmm. And you need to get out a little bit more, young lady. I mean, you need to get out there and play. I followed you around in many places, down in Rhode Island and down around your area on the South Coast. You need to get out there and play again. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to end the song with a little bit of uh, Sharon playing her organ and me kind of chiming in maybe a little bit. So, um, uh, I'm okay. giving you a forewarning right now. So, uh, as always, I want to thank the people here at SMAC. I certainly want to thank Roe Evans and Sharon for being here today. Thanks for having us. And you yes, guys are going to come back us. on again in the yeah. future, and oh, we'll yeah. talk about this again. Yeah. Or you can come back individually and play. The stage is always welcome to you. Mm -hmm. So for Roxanne Morris in the booth, who pushes the buttons and make us look pretty, <laughs> Dave Young, uh, Ooh, Dave. Michael Hammond, Jeff Pickett here at Smack, and for Beverly Candor Dancy, who is <laughs> sitting in the booth today cheering I us bet. on, <laughs> as always. I am Frank Walsh. Mm -hmm. Tune in and tune on. Hi. We're going to sing Let It Be by the Beatles. Yes, and that's not. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, All right. So we have our music, Frank. You ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes. 